Well, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> uh, my name is Pablo Mercado. I'm from Spain, from the south, from a town from Malaga. And I studied fine arts in Sevilla and also in Italy. And then I finished a master degree in, in Madrid. And when I finished all of this, I decided to come to Berlin, not because of the crisis, as, <laughs> as everybody said. I, I came here just for the art because I didn't know what to do when, when I finished my studies. So I decided to come, and now I'm here talking to you, and I wanted to show you my works. Um, it's a sentence of Victor Hugo that I like a lot, and it's a good sentence to explain my work, because I work with, with uh, melancholy and, and with memory. And, and I start this project that is related with uh, melancholy and how and why we live in the past, and why we think that the past is the best. And because I realized that uh, in Berlin, it's really important, the past. And people like a lot the vintage uh, style and, and the full flea markets and all this kind of uh, melancholy for the old times. And I start to make these paintings that you cannot see. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it's an old project. Uh, it's about the relationship in between the uh, uh, Fukuyama um, theories about the end of the uh, utopias, the end of the story, and how it's related with the new old te technologies and how the new technology imitate the old technologies. And I start to play with uh, lomo um, lomography, but with painting, imitate, trying to imitate the the, photogra the photography like the new technologies make with the old technologies. And uh, it's a really bad image. <laughs> but I also try to, to move the project to others, uh, to others materials. This was a um, kind of performance with drawing. I don't know if you can see it. But I sit in, inside of the photo booth here and the people went inside and I made a picture with a, f a smartphone with an application with photo booth in it. And then I draw in really quick, in 20 minutes, and I put it again, and then the people can take the picture and, and bring it with them. And it's also related with this all melancholy. And this project bring me to my new project. I'm working for the last two years in it. And it's related with uh, memory and why we think that the past is the best is because we don't have a really good device, but it's better to say that we have a really good device that erases the bad things. And I start to get involved in, in, and interested in how the brain stores the memories and how the brain erases the memories. And I suppose you all know how it's, how it's work, but uh, we have a system in, the, in our brains that when you have an um, event in your life, you take the information, you fragment that, and you store some parts and you erase other parts. So for me, memory, it's a lot of fragmentation and a lot of erasing parts and a lot of fixing, again, uh, this part together. So. I present here three works, and one of them is this one. It's a teapot fragmenting and, and floating in the space, like uh, it's dissolving, like a memory that it's fragmenting um, and going in these parts of the brain to, uh, that we recall and we put together and we try to fix this puzzle, but never work really good. So we have to invent the new memory. And I, I love this idea that uh, every time that we remember something, we are putting together and we are creating a new memory. So every time you recall the information, this, is, this information is changing and changing and changing. And in fact, the part of the brain that get illuminated when you recall the information is the same part that when you imagine in the future. So I like to think like the, most of the neuroscientists think that the past and the future for the brain is the same thing. And this is a detail. I don't know that. 
you have the original piece up there. And then I start to do that also with all kind of materials. For example, this is oil on glass. It's three layers of um, <laughs> three layers of glass, and I painted uh, three times the, thing, the same um, portrait, and I erased some parts uh, in a way that you can put all together and see one image that is more or less uh, correct, but have a lot of mistakes in it, and you can see how these parts doesn't fit together currently. And this is also about memory, and it's about a <coughs> system that have the brain called substitution, in which uh, you have a bad memory, and you erase these parts of the bad memory, and you put the new parts with uh, happy memories. And I took two puzzles of um, paintings and photographies of uh, art history that it's really famous ones. One of them is Andy Warhol for the, in Death. It's a series of accidents that he made. It's the red one with a lot of blood. And then I removed the part that it's traumatic, like the, car, the, the, the people dying on the floor, the river of blood. And then I changed it for the really nice one of the painting. And, but the puzzle, they are not the same size of uh, pieces because I designed it in, in, in this way. So I had to cut all the pieces in a way that can fit together, but there is a lot of uh, small mistakes. That is the really important thing in, in, in my work, the small mistakes in this reconstruction. And I did also with big installations, like in this case, T and Madeleine, making a reference uh, to um, <coughs> uh, Marcel Proust and this experience of the tea that everyone knows. And, and I tried to bring this uh, neuroscientific way or psychological way into the art and trying to make a little bit of uh, magic in this process. <coughs> Sorry. And then I did this big one in, in a museum in Spain, in, in Galicia. Uh, it's called encoding, and it's uh, the origin of the the piece that you can see there. And it's about this way that ha the brain has to fragment the things and then put it together. And how the, th the original one is not the same one at the that recall one. And I brought some images of the uh, making of to show how it's my system of work. It's, it's, pretty, it's very methodic, like the brain, but also with a lot of mistakes that you cannot control, like the brain does. And this is the piece that you can see upstairs. Uh, here is, in the picture, it's with better light. And it's a TB broken in pieces, floating, and but still working. It has a video projection inside and, and have the, the solution of working, and this is the other piece that you can see there. It's the same idea, fragmentation and, and memories and, and how the brain store and destroy the memories. And yeah, I think that was more or less what I want to say. Thank you.